Now a little advice for anyone who hopes to be stepping out in custom-made cowboy boots like these. Time is running out. Christine Johnson takes us to meet one of the last of a vanishing breed. On a quiet road next to the railroad tracks in the great state of Texas sits the Wheeler Boot Company. You know, one false move and into the trash it goes and you cut another one. Owner Dave Wheeler has been making custom boots for over 50 years. I always say that you're only good as your last pair you made. It's safe to say Wheeler has been on a roll in that regard. He's built quite the reputation around these parts and beyond. Like I see a little spot here that needs to go up and a little spot here. So then I'll take the hammer and I'll touch it up in those spots. And that really makes a difference? That makes a difference because not only for the boot, but for me, because the next step then is to trim the sole over here, and you want that line to be as straight as possible. From the first measurement to the final product, the process can take hundreds of hours, with Wheeler and his longtime bootmaker, Jorge Amaro, paying attention to every detail. And believe it or not, so that's it's, it? No, no, no. Oh. That's, that's just the glue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not just what he makes. It's how he makes it. The machines are the same his dad used and where Wheeler learned the tricks of the trade. When I first started sewing on these, I would fight with it. And my dad always would say, just let the machine have it. Let the machine have it. OK, so. Wheeler's rustic and simple workshop is in stark contrast to the high-end leathers his customers demand. They call this the classic look now. The skins range from cowhide to the exotic. There's alligator, elephant, kangaroo, and ostrich. Is this a brown? No, yeah, that's a super, super dark brown. That's yeah. the classic. You're you won't believe what he used for client Glenn Lilly's uh, boots. This particular boot is made out of bullfrog. Prices start at $2,500. The most expensive cost $25,000. While the boots are made to order, they all share one thing in common. Every bootmaker's signature is right here. This is the tongue that goes on to the front of the boot. So this is your signature? That's our signature. If you're the person who comes in, has always wanted a pair of boots, I just wanted these boots. I don't care about anything else. I want one pair of boots. Uh -uh. Now I know how the addicted people feel, because you'll be back again and again. Warren Avery had Wheeler fashion him boots that are a roadmap to every Super Bowl game he's been to, with the leather tips sent straight from the Wilson factory where tonight's game balls were made. So this is a size what again? 26 and a half. It's the biggest we've ever made. Wheeler's built boots for the tallest man in the world, for Dick Cheney and Robert Duvall. No matter the client, the same rules apply. There's a two-year waiting list. No exceptions, even for Arnold Schwarzenegger. He finds a pair of boots that he loves in one of the books. It's a floral design, a lot of leaves and stems with a with a yellow rose in the middle. I want this boot with the California poppy. I tell him now, the problem is we have a two and a half year backlog, so you cannot be in a hurry. So it's January, so he says, my birthday is in July. And I said, that's nice. Mine's in August. Schwarzenegger finally got his boots just a few weeks ago. He's also one of the last select customers Wheeler will build a custom boot for. He plans on retiring in three years, and he's not taking any new orders. The last 50 to 100 pair that we make are going to be some of our best boots. And that's like, you know, going out by winning the Super Bowl. You retire. Is that a dying art? It's a dying art. It, it's true. One day there will be no bootmakers. There will be no bootmakers. And uh, I don't know But who your that, boots will still be around? They'll still be around. For now, you can find this Texan in his shop, taking his time, getting it right.